to clay trade and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol XTNT. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis a couple of days ago. That's where the red and green line annotations are coming from. But after today's price movement, definitely some updates here need to be done. Now this uh, is a little tricky from a presentation standpoint uh, because there's a lot of it depends that goes into it. What do I mean by that? Well, you know, it depends. If you're a day trader and you bought right there and you wanted to sell within you know, 90 seconds after buying, then for you, the chart's looking pretty rough. But if you care about the big picture of things, then yeah, I get it, there was a pullback today. But from the big picture, the bulls do still have plenty of opportunity to build a higher base, and that's how long-term uptrends are constructed. As long as there's higher bases being built, then a trend in the upwards direction can be built. And I'm gonna be talking about things from the big picture perspective. So if I sound crazy calling something bullish, my guess would be you just had a different strategy and perspective going into the trade. So with that being said, let's get a few things updated here. First, I'm just gonna do a little house clean and get rid of that line there. Sure, it still pertains, but it's not really relevant. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna have lines all over the place that can cause clutter and confusion. So I just wanna to try to keep this as clean as possible. The first update though comes from a foundational principle in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So going forward, for those of you that watched the past video, uh, hopefully you remember me talking about 90 cents as resistance, but now that the price is broken above it, this would be considered an area of support. But actually what I'm gonna do now that I have more data, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust that upwards to right there. That puts it at 93 cents. And that just gives us, you know, that just kind of makes a little bit more sense with the more data now. We have, you know, the previous highs there, and you know, right around that location there. Now, don't get me wrong, if you wanna keep it at 90 cents, that's perfectly fine too. But I'm just gonna make that adjustment in the upwards direction. For those of you that care about the big picture of things and just care about kind of the overall move and how to gauge the health of the current overall move, in order to do that in a very simplistic way, you can use the 50 period simple moving average right there, which is denoted by the purple line. Keyword there being moving. As time goes by, that purple line is just gonna keep on moving its way higher and higher. So the easy way to look at that, as long as the price stays above that purple line as it moves itself higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However, you can best visualize that. So I'm not even gonna talk about levels of resistance because uh, as this chart has shown us, as long as the price keeps on putting in higher bases like it's been doing, then the long-term chart will continue to take care of itself, which includes breaking areas of resistance. So still a couple of days left this week. We'll see what the bulls can do with it. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.